So pictures on your screen right now and we'll be going straight across to them. Let's take a listen. This is from Axiom 4. You're getting pushed back into the seat. It was an amazing ride. And then suddenly, nothing. Everything silenced and you were just floating. You unbuckled and you were just floating in the silence of vacuum. It was, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been a part of this. I understand that this is not a personal accomplishment. It is a collective achievement of each and every one of you who has been a part of this journey. And uh, to make this possible, I, I really want to thank each one of you. Also to family and friends, uh, you know, your support has mattered so much. This is, this is so much because of all of you guys. We showed you joy and grace. You know, this is swan, a great symbol. It looks really cute, but we have uh, a very important on in our um, Indian culture, which we are about. So on uh, symbolizes wisdom. It also has the ability to discern uh, it should be focused on and what uh, does not. So basically, the golden age of distraction, I would say. So this means uh, a lot more, not just, just a zero G indicator for uh, us. And I think that we all have symbolism in Poland and in Hungary and in India as well. So I think this looks like a coincidence, but it is not that it, it has more meaning than what we are attaching it to it. The capsule itself, Grace, has been very kind. I have been feeling, uh, I was not feeling very great when we, you know, got shot into the vacuum. But since yesterday, I've been told that I've been sleeping a lot, which is a good <laughs> sign. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a great sign. I'm, I'm getting used to this quite well, enjoying the views, enjoying the entire experience, or learning like a baby, you know, learning the new steps, <laughs> learning how to walk, learning how to control yourself, everything, learning how to eat, I think. So it's a new environment, new challenge, and I'm really enjoying this experience with my uh, fellow astronauts here. And uh, it's good to make mistakes, but it's better to see somebody else do that too. So, <laughs> so it has been a fun time up here. Uh, that is all I have to ha I have to say. Thank you so much, guys, for making this happen. And I'm I'm sure that we are going to have a great time. And with this, I will hand over to Tibor now. Okay, you heard that from group captain Shubanshu Shukla talking about the fun that they're having, really. Right. Hi, everyone from it's Space. Um, we had an amazing ride, as Shuk said. Um, we were actually only a few seconds away for, from a few more days of quarantine. So even though we were sitting basically almost three hours in our capsule, our new capsule, uh, and, you know, those times could be sometimes a little bit boring, we had those minutes and seconds when it was actually very, very exciting, even before the launch. Uh, when the launch happened, um, it was a feeling that I could not predict. Uh, we have been trying to prepare for those uh, minutes and seconds for a long time, including the centrifuge training, including uh, fighter pilot, uh, fighter jet trainings as well. Uh, but the rocket launch is completely something else. Uh, I was really, really happy uh, that we could do this finally. And um, we also wanted to thank you for basically thanks for everyone uh, around the world and every person, every team who made this beautiful day happen um, because finally our day came. Um, when it comes to joy, uh, a team that is uh, a team that has joy is a team that is healthy. I think those words resonate with this crew the most. But it's not only us; it's um, all the teams around the world that we have been privileged to work with in the last year. Um, every time we look at her, we we think of those people as well. We had so much fun, so much happiness during this year. Um, all those happy moments are gathered and culminated in one little, one little swan. And maybe some other words. Um, this plush is actually um, a tribute to, to the one and single son in the crew, Sid, uh, because he's he's a, he's a son of Shooks, um, and he loves animals. So every time when I you know look at Joy, um, I also think about the hopeful future because of that. 
Um, and a few words on Grace. Uh, I think we have a very deep connection uh, with her. She's taking care of us really, really well. Uh, and this is her first time in space. Uh, and also the same goes for the three of us. So I think this is a deep connection. Um, we love her. She's taking care of us. Uh, I wanted to say before that, you know, Grace, Grace flies pretty loudly, but <laughs> but that's <laughs> but that's only that's only only true for the first ten minutes. Yeah. Ever since then, ever that's since nice. then, we have been really really quiet in space. When it comes to the first first impressions of Earth. All right, it's a webcast from space that you just heard. Let's go back, in fact, to those visuals. We heard just a few moments ago from group captain Shubanshu Shukla there. It's a live conversation with the crew, with the Axiom 4 crew at you heard. In fact, thanking everyone. Remember, this is a media event, essentially from space. Uh, we also inaugurated her. Um, and when it comes to, when it comes to um, SpaceX Dragon capsule to fly for the first time, uh, we put our patch in her. So Peggy will show you that we had our first ceremony as well uh, in in Grace. So we gave her we gave her our patch. And like on our patch, the Earth is in the center of uh, of the patch. This is exactly how we see the view from from here, from Grace, from up uh, up the orbit. Uh, we all four here represent quite a big chunk of of uh, of the planet. That's what we what what we think. Um, we come from three different continents. We come from four different countries, with India. Obviously, the big country, but the, the United States, and as well, both of us representing the European Union and our countries, Poland and Hungary. All together, we represent something around between 25 to 30 percent of the global population. And that's uh, what drove us and what we, how, how we look out the window, we see all of you, all of you back home. And um, hundreds of people who were working on the mission, hundreds of trainers that we met, hundreds of um, principal investigators, scientists, technologists, engineers, and um, uh, who, who were working on science complements for our missions, but as well thousands or, or millions of students, uh, kids, and adults, people back home following our missions. So all this mission is thanks to you, and, uh, and we represent all of you here in space. When we met for the first time, we have selected the motto for our mission was space for everyone. And I really feel that this became even more true now. But it became true for me when we met for the first time. We, it felt like a team from the early beginning, and we just got better, more, you know, knowing each other in a better way. And we will try to do our best when we dock to the International Space Station. So this is the moment we can't wait.